Hi, I'm Pigeon. If you've come from Instagram, hi troops. If you've never seen my face before, hi. I run the Pigeon's Nest and I am a crochet design business. I've been running my business for the last 12 years. Yes, I am a small business crone. And I have two kids, they are seven and five. I'm in my late 30s and I have ADHD. So there you go. That is the breakdown. That's the intro, right? I don't need to say anything else. If you are looking for beautiful, aesthetic content, uh, just you are going to kind of get me as I am in all my glory. That's probably the wrong word. And I don't have a fancy studio. I work out of my house. I am a one man band. Um, so I normally work out of my kitchen on my kitchen table. I literally have to clear the breakfast things to start work. And I also work out of my caravan which I bought last year, so that's quite new. She's a 1986 Sprite Alpine that I had to gut and refurb, which I did last year. I will put the Instagram link to her profile in the caption, in the description, because yeah, I know you wanna, you wanna see that. These are gonna kind of be my small biz diaries, just kind of showing you kind of behind the scenes, what I'm getting up to, filling you in on what's going on. If you've got any questions you want me to answer in future videos, I would love to do that. I've got a wealth of knowledge of juggling. I pretty much should run my own circus. It feels like that sometimes. Please, yeah, please leave me questions in the comments. I would love to answer them in future videos. But for now, let me kind of show you behind the scenes of what's going on. So the school run is done, chickens have been fed, dog has been walked, the post has just arrived, which means that I can actually start packing kits and orders. I'm going to primarily focus on orders today and then I am going to like pack a few extra kits so I can stash them away ready for stitch festival. orders to pack on my website. I have got 11 to pack on Etsy. However, a lot of those are planners, which I can't actually pack until tomorrow now because they're not arriving from the post until tomorrow. So I've got sticker orders though that I can pack and I've got kits that I can pack. So I'm going to be doing that today. Let's get it done.
So I actually invested in these little photo six by four boxes to store my stickers in because they were on my shelf here in an open acrylic display unit, which looked really pretty. And I used that display unit for shows, but they were curling like buggery. So I have some seconds of my palette protectors and I've been flattening out all the stickers that I got really curled. So definitely recommend these. I also got some silica gel to put in them as well. Um, these actually come in like a carry case. So that's why when I go to shows, I can put them all in the carry case. I don't use them in the carry case like around the house because they don't stack very well. I don't want to put the whole thing on my shelf either. So these stack really nicely just on the shelves that they are. And I've labeled what's in each one. And of course, visual aid of what's in each one. But yeah, just in case, uh, your stickers ever curl you can literally just i've been vicing them back down these were so curly um so i've been vicing those back down just checking what this lady's ordered so my thank you cards are all ridiculous pictures of my face i do a portrait project called pigeon portraits and this of course is the girl with the yarn earring and i now have ten thousand pictures of my face under my bed after a printing mishap in when was it 2021 still thousands of pictures of my face under my bed um but yeah i've done all sorts of different designs so it's great that i now get to put them in i want to know what to do with them do you know what i mean after you've done taken loads of photos of yourself what else are you gonna do with them make them into thank you cards of course so i had new stickers printed and it's the first time i've used this like foily holographic and I'm really pre pleased with how they've come out and loving this tattoo style um what you don't know about me is I actually have quite a few tattoos I've got quite a big shoulder piece here um so being able to do like a tattoo themed crochet design was super fun like American style but yeah excited to pack those up for orders today <laughs>
those are my Etsy orders all packed. I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna get on with packing my Shopify orders. Then, hopefully make some excess kits for Stitch Fest before I have to go to school. I think I'm almost finished packing orders for today at least but these are greetings cards I used to do greetings cards years ago I haven't ordered greetings cards in years because I'm really good at showing people what I'm making that's fresh that's dopamine filled that I'm running towards I'm really rubbish at reminding people what I've already got so um yeah, I have greetings cards and I actually have never really properly photographed them and really made a bit of a hoo-ha about them on the website. But I've done a little bit of a reorder. I'm excited to have a look at these. So I've reordered some of my ones that I've sold out of and I've promised to myself that I'm actually going to put them onto um, the website. That's what I'm going to do. Yay! Also, I'm really proud of myself because as I was doing it, I was like putting a QR code on the back for my website. So if someone gets gifted one of my cards, they know where the, the pattern is. So I did a load of my frogs. They always sell really well because this guy is super poseable, super cool. I need to actually make another frog for shows. So I've done some of my frog. I've done um, one of my stickers, but I've done that in a purple, the sticker, it's right here actually, the sticker's in orange, so I've done those in purple, just as a fun little thing, fun little card. What else have I done? Oh, the book stack! I've forgotten I've done the book stack! Oh, that's exciting. Um, so I design all these myself in Canva, and this one I'm really proud of because it's taken forever to design because it's so many little elements that I've like built up and I've done a book stack. That's gonna be really backwards for you, isn't it? I've done a book stack of um, loads of different like punny crochet books. And I've also got a sticker for this, which is on the way. So I'm really excited about this. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm really pleased. I forgot, how, I forgot. I was like, how did I forget I've done that? I've got ADHD, of course I forgot. I forgot as soon as I, Bloody sent it off, didn't I? Right, so that's done. I've also got my um, unicorn. He's been redone. And my snail has been redone, which is awesome. So I'm really pleased. I didn't get any Christmas ones done yet. I'm going to get those done nearer to Crimbob. All the envelopes are here as well. That's awesome. So I'm going to get those done later. Awesome. That makes me really happy. Okay. He's packed his way again. Finish packing orders and then go get the kids. So it is school pickup time. I'm not even going to shut that down. And I am off to go and pick up the kids. I have managed to pack orders today. This is all stuff to send back to seller. This needs sorting out. This is all my fabrics and things which actually need storing in that box down there but I don't have time for you today so off to get the kids I need to put all the layers on because it's bloody freezing outside so I am outside my kids school I've got about 10 minutes before I need to actually go in and pick them up I need to get here and park early it's a whole thing and I am going to sit and do my emails now and try to get my emails down to zero and work doesn't stop for me when the kids get home it will kind of be on pause i've got to do an email about my dmark stuff i'm actually outsourcing that which i'm really excited to do i don't normally outsource anything so i'm really excited to like outsource that bit of thing that was 
literally getting the DMARC stuff in my inbox made my brain explode. So I'm really excited to be outsourcing that. And uh, yeah, and then tea time, bedtime, then I've got choir, and then I'm going to come home and pack up. I've got some Royal Mail um, returns I need to send and some vintage parcels that I need packing as well because I like to do all my post at once. I like to do a one drop scenario. So I will be doing that this evening. If I can pop back on, I will. But if not, sayonara. kids are in bed after dinner um, I had to phone my domain name provider because I had a whole issue trying to thank you dog um, just trying to sort that out tonight so I had to phone them they were really lovely it's really helpful but yeah so I'm gonna go to choir now I've also done 20 minutes cycling on the exercise bike out in the husband's office I did that after dinner and he was taking over in here so yeah I'm gonna go what? Rude. Good morning. It's Friday. Um, do I do most of my filming in the car? Apparently so. Um, so today I have got new products arriving that need to be packed and shipped straight out because they're pre-orders. Those are my planners. And I have a load of products that need photographing and listing on the website. So I'm going to really try and focus on that today and get all the orders I parceled up yesterday ready to ship which will go out Saturday morning with all the planners that I'm gonna pack this evening Whew. so let's get going okay I am prepping myself a little basket because I'm going out to my caravan to shoot some product photos so I have product I have props I have handy carry all let's go <laughs> Oh, this is sort of my storeroom <laughs> slash office. It's a state because I'm working in here. Again, I told you, not aesthetic, not aesthetic content. Let me hang the keys up. So, you, are you okay? You look sad. Right, I need two hands, so I'm going to set you up on a stand. Okay, so we're in Jan. This is my 1986 refurbed caravan slash storeroom slash studio so i'm keeping all my excess yarn in here all my stock um and in here is the bathroom but actually still all stock stock stocks very aesthetic very studio pleasing you right, buddy so i am now gonna of course you're just uh, finding the best seat in the house i'm now gonna set up a photography situation and take some photos okay so the reason I like to shoot in Jan, because even when the days are like this, the light is good. So I'm gonna do some basic kind of shots to start off with. And then I've got some party bits to kind of lay out. I might just do it on this Formica background actually, because I think it's gonna be nicer than the white. Yeah, let's do it. Utilising what we have to do what we can. Beautiful backdrop. That is the, actually the inside of the caravan, but on the outside. So I'm going to take some photos just here and then I should be done. That is a wrap on shooting. Done. I'm literally now just packing things away so I can get back in the house because I'm not going to sit and edit in here. I edit on my phone. I'm going to go sit in front of the wood burner um yeah and the delivery of the planners has just come which is awesome so i am going to open those check those but first i'm going to sit and edit photos and have a cup of tea but before that we're going to take everything back to the house so let's do that
apparently I just stopped filming for the rest of the evening. So uh, I managed to get all my greetings card listed and I got all the scissors up and online too. I also then went and picked up the kids, dinner time, bedtime. And after bedtime, Mr Pigeon and I stayed up to about 11 o'clock packing all the planners. So they went out Saturday morning, which was awesome. So yeah, that's kind of my two days vlog. I actually have really enjoyed myself filming these. I didn't think I was gonna. So I hope you have enjoyed it too. And I think I'm gonna be back. If you've got anything you'd like me to answer in a future video, please bung it down below. I've, like I said in the intro, I've been running my business for 12 years. Let me know what you wanna see of how I do stuff. I'm more than happy to oblige. And yeah, hopefully see you in the next one.